Hey, what's up everyone? Um, got a lot of good feedback on the last screencast about pimping out your new tab page, but had a couple people say uh, they got a little lost in the terminal part where they were you know, either editing the files or finding the directory location. Uh, so never fear, I'm going to show you how to do it without terminal. Uh, and this is going to be a little, um, little more visual uh, way to do it that will accomplish the exact same things. So first thing you're going to do is switch over to the finder. So I'm just going to command tab over here. And there's a menu item that uh, you probably don't use very much. I never use it at all. It's the go menu up here. Uh, and you're going to go all the way down to go to folder. And the reason you're doing this as opposed to just going to the folder, i.e. You know, clicking it, is that you're going to go to the library folder, which is hidden by default on a Mac. Uh, and so what I'm typing is tilde, which is the key all the way in the top left, just below escape. So you're going to hit shift, uh, and then you're going to get a tilde, which is a little squiggle, um, slash, and library, capital L. And here's a trick. If you just type, start typing the beginning like lib and hit tab, it'll fill it in for you. And hit return. I'll pop open the window, uh, and here's everything in your library folder, all kinds of kinds of stuff. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch it to list view. You can also hit uh, Command Two, and now I'm going to go to Application Support, and inside of Application Support, we're going to go to Google uh, because we're going to Chrome, right? So Google, uh, and then you can see we have a couple folders here. It's Chrome, and once you get into Chrome, uh, and then default. This is where your actual profile lives. So above this folder is more stuff that's general to Chrome. Uh, the things inside default here are like your settings. So you'll see bookmarks, cookies, things like that. This is specific to you, uh, which is why we're going in here to get your extensions. So go to extensions, open that up. And here is where you see all these folders. Uh, so each, each of these folders, and I'll roll them up for you so it's easier to see. Each of these folders is a Chrome extension. And I think last time I showed you how to do a, uh, how to detect which one is the right one, um, which one, in other words, is the empty new tab. So I'll just show you a different way to do it uh, this time. So uh, hit Command F for find, and make sure you're switched to extensions. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm just going to search for empty new tab, and you can see it's already found it here. It's this file that says empty NTP, uh, and if I make the window wider, you'll see the path, right? So JAM3, App Support, Google, Chrome, Default, Extensions, this mess, and don't worry about what that, those numbers and letters are. It'll be very likely different on yours. Um, all you care about is this file here at the end. So this thing you're gonna open in whatever you use to edit text. Um, if you're a hacker, you have a preference here. If you're not, you probably don't, uh, don't really have an opinion. So you're gonna use something like TextEdit. Um, I would use uh, Sublime or MacVim. Uh, I'll use Sublime here because that's um, it's more of a graphical program. Um, and here is the, the file that we got from the bottom of the YouTube video. So if you go in here uh, and you grab this link from the bottom of the video, uh, and you can you actually you don't need to select it, just click it. Oops, don't edit, click. Uh, and this is going to give you the gist. So all you do here, um, click this little button that says raw. This is supposed to represent HTML tags, like the angle brackets. Um, select all, copy this, uh, and you'll go into here, and I'm going to delete what I had uh, and paste. And now you've got the same template that I showed in the first video, and you're in a position where you can set the color, which is up here where it says background color, uh, and the GIF, which is down here where it says background image. So just change your image here to the path to wherever yours is. So you'll have HTTP, uh, don't forget the HTTP, it's required. Uh, HTTP, you know, mine might be this slash cool stuff slash wow dot gif. Uh, whatever the path is to yours, um, punch that in there. And that's it. Uh, I'm just going to roll back my changes. And your tab, when you're done, will look something like that. Uh, again, let me know if, uh, if you have any problems or questions. Uh, I'm also thinking of doing a Chrome extension that does all this for you. Uh, so if you're interested in that, let me know. Have a good one. Peace. Come on. Champagne.